All right, so to bring any image in, you're gonna go to this little plus button, click on image, and find wherever you saved your pictures on your Google Drive. Let's say maybe I'll try this waterfall this time. Then zoom out. If you're on a Chromebook, you can pinch to zoom. And I'm going to resize this and drag it where I want. Last time, I didn't exactly place the waterfall where I wanted it in the doorway. This time, I'm going to make sure I bring the transparency down on my top picture and kind of pay better attention to where these two pictures are lining up. So I want to be able to see the top of the waterfall. I also kind of want some of those rocks in my waterfall picture to merge with the rocks in the picture of the desert here. I think that's probably a pretty good place. I'm going to leave this transparency down pretty low and then get my scissors tool, which allows me to mask off different areas. Remember you have the remove from mask and the add to mask along with this feather tool. I'm going to set my feather tool to a low number, I don't want to leave it at just zero because it will make a very drastic change between the two spots. And then I'm just going to start working my way around this picture, cutting out the parts of the waterfall picture that I do not need to keep so that it actually looks like the waterfall picture is only seen through this doorway. Once I have the main areas cut out, I can go back and adjust the transparency again. And now I'm going to get the brush instead of this lesso. When I'm using the brush, I can change the opacity. So I'm going to change the opacity to be pretty low and start working on erasing parts of this picture so that the two pictures blend together. So I have my opacity set down to 12. I want to use a pretty soft brush. This is similar to the feather when you're using the other tool. It's how fuzzy it gets at the edge. And then I'm going to start slowly erasing part of this picture and you see it takes a lot of clicks and erasing it before the entire picture actually fades away and i'm just trying to get these two images to slowly look like they're fading into each other along the bottom here i want these edges to stay pretty 
straight where it goes from one picture to another, but I want this bottom for this foreground part that is the desert floor to kind of fade into the picture of the waterfall. And again, you can play with the transparency so that you can see in both pictures where you need to start covering up part of the top picture. So I'm looking at where these different racks are and going back and forth between the transparency so that I know exactly where I want to cover over. If I cover too much, I can always flip back to this add to mask and I can start drawing back into my top picture so I see more of the top picture. Remember green is adding to the mask or adding the picture back and red is taking the picture away. Are there any questions so far?